once you get into the inspection hole, you got your adjustment nut right here. What you're gonna do is, is counterclockwise, is going to decrease your free pedal travel and then increase it, you go clockwise. And in order to do the adjustments, you physically have to press in. All right, go down, press, engage. You have them push down on the clutch. Then you push in and you turn at the same time. And you go a little bit and then you stop. All right, up. And what you do is you use your tool in order to go up and in between your bearings and it's not quite enough so we got to go a little more all right down Engage. You're gonna keep going until you don't have hardly any movement, and that's too much. All right, so engage. Engage. Push in, rotate it, and we come in a little bit. Disengage. Disengage. Up and in between. And that slides in there with a little bit of resistance. Once you have your little bit of resistance, you're gonna flip your tool around. All right, engage. Engage. And you're gonna check your clearances with the other end of the tool to make sure. I was checking the other end. And then you use a feeler gauge in order to make sure that you have enough clearance in between your clutch brake and your throw out bearing. And one way that you can also check if you ain't got all the proper tools, disengage. Disengage. Is you can actually use a business card and you can slide it up in between the clutch brake and your throw out bearing. Engage. Engage. And as long as it grabs it, and there's some resistance, but you can still be able to pull it out, you're pretty much good. That's what, 10 thousandths of an inch? All right, disengage. Disengage. And then your other measurement in between the forks, an eighth of an inch. In between your forks and your pedal. And that's just a little too much. So we're gonna readjust just a little bit. Engage. Engage. By about a half a turn. Disengage. Disengage. And then once that's done, you go back up and in between your fork and your throw out bearing. And there is just barely any room for it. So we are golden. And that's how you do a clutch adjustment from underneath on a 2000 Kenworth. This isn't Kenworth, right? Oh, it is an International Columbia? All right. And that's how you do your adjustment on a manual adjustment clutch. So thanks for listening. Bye. All right, so now we're gonna check the pedal free travel. And that's from the point of rest until the point of engaging and touching on the clutch forks to the shift lever. So what we'll do is, is we'll start from at rest and move it inward. And we're right at two inches. 
Yep, we're right at two inches there. And if we go all the way down, down with our foot, and we measure from the floor, I got between a half to an inch. That means, means that all of our pedal free travel and also our um, our end is uh, all within spec. So that's how you do your adjustments, check your free pedal travel and everything else on a manual adjust clutch. Y'all have a good one.